Yeah. It's not something I'm going to use very much, so I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of wiring it shut. Got to get a couple of videos. You know, it is just, a uh, snow day. It's, got a, it's at least Boston, five, six millimeter uh, stick. It's, it's like, have you seen those like like that chopper they have? The big yeah, so chopping the, the Oh yeah, like the competition cutter, right? Yeah, so it's got that down, like the... Wrap it around. Around. So I've even, uh, yep, um, this will be, a, this will be like a one clip, I think. One clip. But uh, I got a couple of knives and they're all, they're all bound up and tied up. So the police officer gives me a hard time. It's only a very nice for very few as well. You got one? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Did you find it? condition you find? He tied it. He's only tied it. I found this knife. Oh, okay. He's wrapped it all up. Mini knife. He's wrapped the line and comes through and it's squeezed down. Oh, that's cool. You can pull it out. Just because... Oh, this is the one that Jay had, right? Uh, I don't know. He had it. Yep, because uh, yeah. titanium carbide. I was looking no at this. Just, uh, just titanium? Oh. I just like the color. You know, it looks so nice. Cool. good. Kind that of looks cool. nice. That is really good. Mm -hmm. okay. Any relationship to uh, Inspector Wheatley on. Uh, you know who I'm talking about, don't you? Nemo Elevis. I really like this one. Yeah. So I made your decision for you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking for? I just like something that feels good and usable for daily use. Well, go with something a little broader. I think what you can do with this one like here, this. If, you, if you find that too big, is you uh, you take it, get your finger in there good and tight. This is one of my favorites. And then you make a large knob. Yeah, I made, I made a few and like that. that was and one of my favorites. The other one was the little one I had up here. It sold a while ago. Sold a while ago? Yeah. This one also, it's just... That's what everyone says. There's something about it. They picked it up and then, wow, it's just... It's, it's tough. You make good handles. Like, I got a... I've got a, I've got a few, like, hold up. That? Just <laughs> when you hold it, it's got to feel right. It's the right spot. It's right spot. It just right yep. What's that, Emerson? What's that? What's the Emerson? This is the uh, Roadhouse? No, not the Roadhouse. Jim and Jim. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Jim, I like this. This is just an old recap. My new score. That's all right. This is uh, John Grismo's table. I'll link his channel underneath. That's a great color. Yeah. So I've always wondered when you anodize something, yep. how does that exactly work? Because I know some people flame anodize their type. That works too. So you have to just essentially blast it with a lot of hot fire? Of hot fire well, or? yeah, like a, a propane blowtorch will. Okay. So it'll, it'll get you kind of blues and browns. Like a strider look, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but these are electro anodized, basically, so using voltage. You'd use obviously your voltage and is it a special kind of fluid or? Yeah, sulfuric acid, like really, really weak sulfuric acid. Oh, okay. and, uh, and a voltage equals the color. So like if you want blue, it's 25 volts. If you want brown or uh, bronze, it's 15 volts. 15 volts. Like every color is a different voltage. <laughs> flips easy with the left hand. Yeah, that's good. It flips really good for being how sloppy it is. <laughs> You've got bearings in there, right? Yeah. That bearings. would help. That would always help. Yeah. Well, you have made progress. <laughs> yes. From the... One that wasn't. <laughs> William Neeser Sable. That's my hand. That's the axe. So that's it. It's perfect. <laughs> 
Um, can you get me yeah, like a masking tape loop? Stick this on. In the bag, I think. In a bag. It's made of aluminum. That's my favorite. Well, in these. No, my, my buddy's purchase of Maurice, and I'm really happy to have you guys with me. So, right. the slow lessons. Go ahead and get my license. No, I don't want to get my license. I'll have one sent away. I want one of these. But now that I'm actually going to go and get my license. I'm yeah, although I was talking about trying to bring this, this um, culture up here, we're trying to find it. Check them out. Stop pin on there. That's small. Dude. I like to whip my knife. Open. One eighth inch. Yeah, it's more civilized, definitely. My knives are for killing people. Purpose, purpose built. It's not killing. Buttery smooth. There you go. Oh, is that a forties? Uh, I did a makes the forties fixed blade. I did a handle on it for a guy. Same shape, lit. Off right. center, right there. Yeah. So what happened? You need to tighten it. Yeah. Want me to do it for you? Yeah, you don't mind. That'd be great. Sir. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Look at a blade that's not centered and I cringe. I know. It's, uh, what do you got here? T20? T. T you have it? Work. <laughs> the duck bill is awesome on that, isn't it? This is a hatchet knife. <laughs> it's a hatchet folding knife. It's a folding hatchet. <laughs> It makes it look like a little Victorinox stuff. Thank you, sir. No problem. I think. Yeah, I love how smooth it is. Uh, Lucas Burnley released his Quaken Blipper, and then people were accusing me of copying his design. I was like, dude, mine came out first. Pretty yeah. Uh, it's gonna happen. For, yeah. This when you're the new guy on the block, everyone's gonna automatically assume you're the idiot. That's just part of the game. Maybe in year two, uh, you get more respect. I'm trying to remember when Tom Mayo sent me that evil email. The beginning, sent it to Chad. Got some last minute work to do, so uh, that sucks. Yeah, it's a crazy busy season, so it isn't mm -hmm. like five days a week becomes not five days a week. I know the feeling. <laughs> Do you do this part time or full time? Part time. This guy's knife is crazy. Each one of these is forged out of a ball bearing. So, this ball bearing turns into this one piece. It's crazy. What can you do? Uh, 
So Fawn Hill. Fawn Hill. Three. Two K seven. Nine oh five two four six nine one five six. And Cody, I don't know about the show. Ah, I have a repeat customer. Uh, Seem to say internet is fine. Okay, great. And you just have to give this. I think she's collecting it, so I'll go over there and give that to her. This night fits my hand like a piano. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thanks so much, Chris. Pleasure. Enjoy. Michelle. <laughs> Tough decision. Good decision. Yeah, no. Salty, but they were just as cold. Oh, exactly. They just go Him, it's uh, Reese. Uh, I forget. And what about for your side? Uh, uh, okay, can I get you another Caesar? Uh, uh, huh? Okay, just a regular one this time? Sure. And what's your name? Freddy? Oh. Ender of Fire Attack. Oh. I know it. Oh, this is what I say. Oh, it's a Hinder. Is this your day? Yeah. Okay. Is that the name? Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's an RJ Martin right there. Who pimped this? Who pimped this again? Sure. No. This is old school. Yeah. I've had this, you know. Yeah, but who is the pimper? Like who? Oh, Reese Wyland. Reese Wyland, okay. What oh, do you make these? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. So, what do you think, yeah, bud? Those are gonna be next time you team now? Who doesn't want one? Flip that and flip that. You want a 24. 24. You don't want a. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Put that away, AJ. I know. Oh. <laughs> no, the fire attack is where it's at, people. Fire attack is ours. I like that fire attack. You know what? I'm more of a. I like hustle. Yeah, I should have told it while you take pictures. It's a video. Yeah, I got it. That's an Emerson Suspect 6. <laughs> if you know, Let's put her over. Well, you can get her on. Uh, I get a few California. <laughs> well, let me know. When he comes in, and if you guys can get a kid off the lawn, let me know when I can get one. Oh, yeah, I'm taking a picture. No worries. Yeah, I am start to start. Andrew XM24.